It's difficult, if not impossible, to push aside the all-new Honda Accord when shortlisting a family sedan that is good-looking, practical and packed with features. Actually, it's really easy and that's what I'm here to prove with the king of sedans by my side, the 2018 Toyota Camry. Well then, welcome to the Apple versus Microsoft, the Batman versus Superman and the Coke versus Pepsi of the automotive world. Today, we'll be putting the biggest names in the D segment up against each other to settle it once and for all. Are you ready? Yalla! design is a subjective topic, Honda hasn't played it safe with the styling of the all-new Accord. It's got rid of the boring three-box design that most sedans follow, the Camry included, and opted for a much more interesting fastback design. Well, yes, you might be right, but the new Camry is by no means boring. Just look at those lines. It means business with that black grille and dual exhausts in the back. And as for your fastback design, let's see how that affects your rear headroom. With practicality being an important factor, the Accord continues to differentiate itself from the Toyota Camry with a cabin that is better designed and of noticeably better quality. Actually, I'm gonna stop you right there because the Camry is more modern, you see. Just look at this lovely funnel-looking design on the dashboard as opposed to your boring horizontal layout in the Accord. And don't get me started on practicality. I have 38 inches of rear headroom in the back while the Accord only has 37.3. And you know why? It's because of that lovely fastback design you really love. Fine, so the Accord loses a couple of centimeters in rear headroom, but because of its longer wheelbase, I've got over 40 inches of rear legroom, as opposed to only 38 your Camry has to offer. And oh, boot space is also in my favor. 473 liters in this Accord, as opposed to the measly 428 your Camry has to offer. Damn, you did your homework. I thought you'd never find out. But that doesn't mean the boot in the Camry is small. It might be smaller, but it's not small. At 140,000 dirhams, Honda hasn't held back on the features. This all-new Accord is armed with everything from a remote engine starter to head-up display, adaptive cruise control, lane departure alert, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, active noise cancellation and plenty more. What about your Camry, Anas? Okay, this is a little bit embarrassing since I don't have any of the features you just mentioned, but the Camry is still 20,000 dirhams cheaper than the Accord and is still equipped with stuff you use every day, like keyless entry, push button start, a conventional cruise control that doesn't intervene with braking every time somebody cuts in front of you on the road, and hey, lane keeping assist, what's wrong with using your hands? In a bold move and one that most manufacturers haven't considered, Honda has got rid of its popular 2.4-litre and 3.5-litre naturally aspirated engines in favour of two turbocharged units. The 2-litre four-cylinder engine that powers this very car makes 247 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque, which it pushes through a 10-speed transmission. Wow, that's a bold move from Honda. But do you really think that people in the Middle East are ready for turbocharged engines in this segment? While sales of the Accord will speak for themselves, on paper at least, the move to turbocharged engines is a sensible one. They produce more torque, they improve fuel efficiency, and they reduce the overall weight of the car. Well, thank God you didn't say they're more powerful, because you do know that I have 50 horsepower more than you, right? Well, actually, just pull over and let me show you some naturally aspirated magic, my friend. Keeping it old school, the Camry comes with a nice big 3.5 liter 
V6 that produces 298 horsepower and 356 newton meters of torque. And of course, it's sent to the front wheels through an eight speed automatic. <laughs> oh, wow. So you've got a lot more power, but you've also got a lot more weight. I mean, 42 kilos, if I were to be precise. So what are you suggesting? Camry might be faster than the Accord, but it's not as fuel efficient though. You see the Camry averages 10.9 liters in every 100 kilometer, but the Accord does it in 10.5. But shh, don't tell Zara on that. So, Camry or Accord? Well, it depends. Of course it depends, if you want the best or not. No, it's a little more complicated than that. You see, the Camry is more affordable, it's more powerful and it's got that bulletproof reputation that the Accord simply hasn't. But the Accord is the better car. It looks better, it drives better and it's more practical. Well, I've made my choice. And I've made mine.